Welcome to Washington America Show with international multimedia journalist, multidimensional and multifaceted artist Dr. Kashif Sohail. Skydiving, also known as parachuting, is considered by many one of the most dangerous sports in the world. The divers are influenced by the gravitational pull and land on Earth. Once the diver reaches the terminal velocity, he or she opens a parachute attached to his slasher body, in order to reduce speed and control the fall. Skydiving has a number of uses including the deployment of military personnel on the enemy lands, emergency exits, and the last, sporting. For a skydiver, the love for sport usually takes preference over all other factors, this love is not restricted to skydiving alone. Today, both males and females are allowed to go in for any kind of sports that he or she prefers. Any sport unites people with similar interests and passion. Skydiving as any other kind of sport is thrilling and exciting, nevertheless, it also is rather dangerous. The safety and performance of the sports person depend on numerous objective and subjective factors, however, many depend on the person's attitude and mood. Mistakes and unfavorable conditions in skydiving always end up in either one of the two ways, a serious injury or fatality. Reported fatalities and injuries in this sport are numerous and make many people shy away from it. A number of risks have been established and factored into skydiving. In most instances, the weather is the major cause of the deaths and other fatalities associated with this sport. Bad weather disrupts the fall of the divers and makes them unable to control their chutes. Rainy, windy, cloudy, or stormy weather is always a widely feared situation in the skydiving sport. On the other hand, the most favorable weather for the sport is a windless, sunny, and cloudless sky. This weather condition is characteristic of the summertime, and that is when most of the dives are made. If a dive is made and the equipment is faulty, it results in a fatality or a serious injury. Therefore, equipment used in skydiving is checked several times before the dive, to make sure that they are in full working condition. Some divers may have suicidal thoughts during the dive and may decide to use the diving experience to end their lives. This situation is imminent once one reaches terminal velocity and decides not to open a parachute. The only prevention measure for such deaths is thorough psychological research of people, who intend to make a dive, to ensure that they are experiencing no personal reasons that may prompt them to commit suicide. Skydiving is a very refreshing, mind-opening, and exciting sport. All possible measures have been made to make the sport safe. There have been fewer and fewer fatalities since the inception of skydiving. Numerous sports associations and clubs spend a lot of time, money, and afford for designing better equipment, safety measures, and training programs. Currently, the equipment used in skydiving is more advanced and safer than ever before. Nowadays. Divers are supposed to undergo a training program before they are allowed to skydive. This measure is aimed at reducing the number of fatalities resulting from skydivers' mistakes since a well-trained person is in a better position and knows how to react when faced with a difficulty, as opposed to a non-trained one. Parachuting is gaining popularity with each year, today, skydiving has become a hobby for people from all over the world. Even though it contains a number of risks. The death rate is very low despite the fears of many people. The percentage of calamities and fatalities resulting from this sport is innumerous, almost negligible when matched with the number of dives made each year. Skydiving is an adrenaline-based sport with a fairly simple concept, jump from a high place, usually out of a plane, from several thousand feet above sea level and hope and pray for a safe landing. This safe landing is oftentimes achieved through the use of a parachute, which enables the skydiver to reduce his speed to such a point that colliding with the earth will not be fatal. What makes skydiving cool is that it presents a new thrilling experience that not many get to have. Combined with the potential risks and the overall experience, skydiving has many appeals that can be considered as cool to the functional aesthetics of a person. 
Skydiving embodies this concept of cool because it takes nerve to overcome the perceived risk of death to jump out a moving plane. Skydiving is parachuting from an airplane. Skydiving can be done individually and with groups of people. Training is required. Unlike most paratroopers, skydivers often wait until they are low, before opening the parachute. The jump can also be made from a helicopter or a balloon that is high enough in the sky. Skydiving can be an exciting sport. Skydiving includes free falling, usually from an airplane, through the air prior to opening a parachute. Typically skydives are carried out from around 4,000 meters offering 40 to 50 seconds of free fall time. Longer free fall times can be achieved by exiting an aircraft at altitudes much higher than 4,000 meters, but such jumps require pressurized oxygen within the aircraft as well as bottled oxygen for very high skydives. During a skydive, total freedom and control of the air can be enjoyed as well as many complex and spectacular maneuvers including flat turns, somersaults and formation skydiving. Skydiving can be enjoyed either as an individual, doing solo, alone, jumps, or as part of a team carrying out formation skydiving. Generally, the term skydive refers to the time spent in free fall from exiting an aircraft to deploying a parachute but skydiving does include some disciplines such as accuracy landings and canopy formation flying which concentrate on the time spent once a canopy has been deployed. Skydiving, also called parachuting, is a sport in which athletes jump out of an airplane at a certain altitude and perform acrobatic movements in free fall. Then they open their parachutes to slow down and return safely to earth. Skydiving is considered to be an extreme sport that takes a lot of courage but also gives you the adrenaline kick. Skydiving is a sport that is not as young as it may seem. Later on. Skydiving became important for the Army and Air Force. Pilots could jump out of a plane and land on Earth safely if something went wrong. In wars, soldiers were dropped off in war zones, often behind enemy lines. Skydivers are also used when it comes to fighting off disasters like bushfires. Competitions in skydiving are held regularly. Events include landing close to a target and performing acrobatic movements in the air, as well as flying in formation. In the last few years another event, sky surfing, in which a surfboard is attached to a jumper, has become popular. Group skydiving requires a group of parachutists to perform figures while in free fall. A skydiver must always check their gear to see if everything is okay. They always carry a backup parachute with them, just in case the main chute does not open. Steering lines are attached to a backpack. With them, parachutists can control their direction. Before you jump alone you normally do tandem jumps with an instructor or an experienced jumper. Through such jumps, you get used to free fall, wind directions, and how to steer. Skydivers must also learn a lot of theory. Wind speed and other weather elements are important. Airplanes climb to an altitude of 7000 to 15000 feet before letting out the jumpers. The free fall stage lasts between 45 and 80 seconds. Jumpers reach a speed of up to 130 miles an hour. Skydiving requires excellent weather. Jumping in rainy weather or during strong winds can be very dangerous. Even though skydiving may not seem like a sport, jumpers must be physically fit before they can jump. Despite the fact that it may seem dangerous, there are only a few accidents that happen every year. A typical skydive lasts 5 to 6 minutes, with approximately 50 seconds of that spent in freefall and 4 to 5 minutes on the parachute tried down. While the adrenaline rush from a skydive will fade, through skydiving, you gain friendships that will not. Skydiving changes your life because it brings new people into it to share experiences with. After jumping, you'll find out that a skydive family is a real thing.
If it's a little bit of skydiving anxiety, you aren't alone. While skydiving is a fun and exciting experience, it's definitely outside of most people's comfort zones. Skydiving anxiety doesn't have to prevent you from making a jump. All it takes to manage your skydiving anxiety is proper preparation. The majority of skydivers who have thousands of skydives under their belt still feel a big spike in their heart rate as they move towards the door. It's natural and kind of scary. The reality is that as soon as you leave the airplane, you're no longer scared. Please share the video, subscribe to our channel.